Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Rachel and today I'm coming to you with, I think it's maybe part three of my series on hand piecing without um, the traditional papers that you would in English paper piecing. So in the last episode I showed you how to make the hexagons without any papers and how to turn it into a really nice circular placemat. So today we're going to talk about um, templates and how you can use templates to create other shapes. Because in this video, if you watch this, we used pre-cut hexagons and we just marked a quarter of an inch with... Um, a ruler to mark the seams but there are lots of different options out there where you can use templates some of them you might be familiar with but there are different types of templates that I find are a little bit better for hand piecing just because of the way that they're designed so that's what I'm going to be showing you today now the first type of template you're probably all quite familiar with these so you can either buy them singularly, lots of companies sell them for particular, um, you know, quilt designs. I bought these when I first started quilting and I don't think I've ever really used them that much. They were quite expensive, I think they were £25 or something and you get a big range of um, hexagons and they include a quarter inch seam allowance. Um, and they're by so easy, I bought them from Hobbycraft. So the main thing that distinguishes this type of template is that it has the circles um, cut out for you to draw a dot um, on each corner. So there's no way using this template for you to accurately draw your one quarter inch um, seam line that you need to sew on. It will all make sense if you've watched the previous video. So what you could do is this type of template, I find it's going to be handy for actually just cutting out your shape rather than using pre-cut shapes and then using, using your ruler to mark the quarter inch seam like we did in the last video. Because if you look, the holes here that are for marking the corners, that is very easy to, there's a lot of um, inaccuracy in that, it's a big hole. You could mark, where are you going to mark? Here, at this edge, at the top edge, in the middle, and it could mean that you are a smidge out. But if this is the only type of template that you've got, certainly it is usable, but use it to cut out your shape and then manually mark your seam. But these, the good thing about them is they are very readily available in lots of different shapes and sizes. Now, the second type of template that you can make, I don't know if you'll be able to see these, DIY, uh, did I say stamps? I meant stencils. DIY stencils, these are made with fruit punnets. So they're quite a thick plastic, but you can actually buy plastic that is designed for this and it is a lot thicker. I'll come on to that in a moment. So these, I just used a craft knife and a metal ruler and I cut out my own stencils. So here, this one is larger and that's for my um, cutting out. I don't use a rotary cutter against this. I mark around it with a pencil and cut it out with scissors. And then I've got one smaller and if that goes bang in the middle, it's a quarter inch smaller. You can just about see it there. But yes, you can purchase, I'll put a picture of it on the screen, actual template, like um, plastic, that you can use to create your own templates. So this is the easiest and cheapest way to do it, as long as you have a way to make it really accurate. I think I drew on the plastic first and then cut it out, so I knew that my shape was um, perfect very easy for straightforward shapes like squares and rectangles but hexagons and octagons I, <laughs> I wouldn't have a clue how to draw one of those accurately every time but you might now my preferred type of template to use is like this so these templates actually don't have an inside so it's very easy you can either use the template to cut with a rotary cutter or simply draw around it with scissors draw around it with a pencil and cut it with scissors and then it's very easy to access and accurately cut your quarter inch seam and that will also mean that you've got the quarter inch seam exactly centered as well because these are designed for this purpose 
So these that I've purchased recently are by Clover and again they're probably quite readily available and they cut, there's two different packs, ones with squares, triangles and an octagon and then another with hexagons, different triangles I think, I don't think yeah different angles of triangles so there isn't a duplication in the shapes and I do really like these they're colour coded and some of them do tessellate together so you could sort of make your own quilt pattern with them um, so very handy very affordable you get quite a few in there but they're not that thick they do have a slight flex to them you know they're not the thick acrylic they're probably half the width of these that we're used to now the other option for templates which is really good, some companies when they create a uh, quilt pattern, this is the Dandelion Quilt by Susan Smith and it's available at Pincushion Pantile, I'll leave the link to their website, but this is the quilt pattern, it has squares and then sawtooth stars around the outside and they actually sell the set, I've took some out because I'm working on this, but they sell the acrylic set for this design so that's really handy and lots of these shapes like the squares and um, triangles they could be used as a half square triangle template um, it's really versatile to mix and match it into a future design so it's not just a one time only thing this kit was £25 from the Festival of Quilts but you get the quilt pattern and all of these templates there's about three more in here, let me show you yep there's another three here and these are just what i'm using to create my liberty stars quilt so i'll just give you a little demonstration on how i actually use those i generally stack about four pieces of um, if it's liberty tarn or lawn four maybe if it's regular fabric i just do two um, and when I'm using smaller templates, I try and use a smaller rotary cutter. I've got a very small rotary cutter, which is just 18 mil, and it's perfect for getting around all of the tiny little bits. So once you've cut them all out, you put your template, you try and centre it as best as you can on the fabric. And then you draw with a pencil. I prefer a mechanical pencil so it stays nice and sharp. You just draw around the inside using your sandpaper that we discussed in the last video and that's your stitching line all complete then so there is a little bit of prep work that goes into it especially with the um the drawing of the lines but the stitching like we discussed in the last video is a bit faster than english paper piecing i think the other thing to say um, with these um, templates that have got the inside cut out, I actually purchased them from eBay. It was a multi-pack set of 54 um, templates. I'm not sure if that's 54 inside and outside or like a combined total. They haven't arrived yet. They've took over a week to arrive. I did order them to try and review them for this video, but that is a really affordable way of purchasing them. I'll um, put a picture of them up on the screen here and when they arrive I'll let you know how they are because they are quite cheap but obviously I can't vouch for the quality. But if you just search quilting templates on eBay there are lots of different sellers that sell the exact same thing with the same photos so I'm not sure yet. They haven't arrived so I'll just keep my fingers crossed that they will eventually arrive and that might be quite useful. Now, um, still on like the subject of templates, you can actually buy stamps for this type of work and I think that is such an um, easy way of doing it. So there's no templates involved. It's a rubber stamp that you use a permanent ink so that the ink doesn't wash out. You put it on the back of the fabric and you stamp and it stamps a cutting line that you use to cut with scissors and then as well it includes a seam line that you can use. These are only available in America and also in the Netherlands. I've inquired with a company who sells them in America. I think they're called Stamps by Kate. I'll add her link below because the website is just amazing. I've inquired about UK postage costs and I'll get back to you with how much um, UK postage is because she's, there is a note on the website that says it will calculate the postage and it's wildly inaccurate. 
Um, so I've emailed her and I'm just waiting for her to get back to me. Um, but if anyone knows of any places that you can buy these stamps in the UK, do let me know because I've been searching the web. <laughs> So that is a really good option. That would be a real good time saver. You can just stamp it and cut it with scissors if you wanted to, maybe even a rotary cutter if you used a ruler um, along the lines. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this little video just talking about the templates um, that you can use. And do let me know if you've given this technique a try. Lots of people commented on the last video saying that it was really interesting and that they wanted to try. So fingers crossed, lots of people do try this and, and keep the art of this type of stitching alive. Thank you so much for watching guys. You take care and happy stitching.